Virgo, let's get into your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Hi, everybody. Welcome back, Virgo. My name is Michelle. For those of you who are just finding my channel, thank you so much. This is an intuitive Virgo energy reading. So please take it where and how it resonates with you. It is your message, and it only comes to you when you're ready to receive it. So um, that being said, I do create a new video for Virgo every single week. So please make sure to subscribe to this channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. Virgo, let's see what comes out. This is about staying light and seeing both sides. So diplomacy may be required in everything that you do this week. This is also maybe a sign for, guess what? Things are getting lighter and they will become more playful this week. So this could be a breakthrough as well. Let's see. And then let's get into... That's interesting. I've got to think on that one. Let's get into that. Um, Virgo, if you guys... Anyone out there is looking for a personal reading, I do that as well. Please check out my website and you can book and schedule at the time that's right for you. I already have a couple of, I still have a couple of time slots this week open for those of you who are interested. But at the same time, you can just what, grab whatever's right for you. You ready? Okay, hold on. Okay, thank you, Virgo, for that moment of meditation. Let's get into your reading. Virgo, sun, moon, and rising sign. God, what do you... Things are becoming clear to you. You're becoming confident in your objectivity. Those are the messages that just came out. So we have this and that are true. Seeing both sides of the situation and being playful. Dolphins are very playful. And they're playful because of their intelligence. I think their intelligence enables them to be able to take things lighter and, and go with the flow because not a lot of things worry them. Intelligence kind of sets them free. Um, they stay to the surface of the water. So this is like my emotions aren't getting me down so much anymore. I can feel them. I can enjoy them. And then I can be relieved from them. So there's a lot of relief here as well. Maybe because you've been able to see from a different perspective or Virgo, this is a message for you saying if you want relief from something that's become very emotional for you and that is dragging you down, then make sure to, the, the key is to look at it from a different perspective and, and see and understand, maybe even research the other point of view. That will act as almost like a pulley system that will enable you to kind of rise up and get out of the muck and start to take what you thought was so serious, not so seriously. It will act as like a pulley lever system that will start to balance out your perspective and how much energy you're putting into that situation. So that's the, that's the trick to sort of balance yourself out this week. But let's see the other card. And this card kind of confused me. I'll be honest with you. Make your dreams real. And this is spider energy. So this is very, this can be very manipulative energy. It's also very powerful and productive energy. So maneuvering in order to, so building. It's about building and building from yourself. And I'm leaning more toward uh, maybe writing. So this is, this is five, five plus six is 11, awakening, awakening to another point of view by something that you're reading or something that you're putting together and writing or sharing. It could even be that you're putting together some sort of 
peace, like written peace, in order to create peace in the space that you're in. So I really like this energy because there is a forming of sorts. Uh, make your dreams real. Spider energy can be scorpionic energy, can also be stuck, or somebody's trying to trap you. But I don't really feel that in connectivity with the dolphin spirit. What I feel is that you're coming awake or you're starting to realize something because of information that has come to you, something that you've read, and definitely looking into the opposite perspective from whatever it is you thought you were tied to, obligated to, or even what you thought to be true. Because it's interesting how our perspective, perspective perception of what is true changes based on based on our perspective you know the truth is the whole story it's not just our version of the story or our experience with the part of the story we've experienced so there's something definitely eye-opening that's coming to you this week let's flip over this time time to collaborate and i got this too this is looking at things from a different perspective this is two different perspectives this is somebody else this is somebody else so it's almost like meeting somebody else collaborating, working together. And by in a doing that, you enable yourself to do more than you ever could yourself. This could be writing to somebody to be able to connect with them or want to partner with them. This could be reading their work and realizing because of what you've read from them, you see things from a different perspective. There's something here about the another person's contribution opening up your mind and awakening you to possibilities that actually lighten your load and make you happy you know bring you closer to a state of happiness and lifting that weight off of you so let's get into that's interesting let's get into the tarot reading for virgo this week um we have the six of wands and eight of swords so some sort of success that's come after being left behind um, yeah, being, after being rejected, there's this energy of, or finally being able to leave something behind or be okay with being left behind. But I think it's victory over being taken advantage of or being rejected or being hoodwinked in a way. Those two cards came out together. And then we have the Nine of Cups. So this is actually really beautiful energy of what can come from what didn't happen, right? The unanswered prayers blessing. that The blessing that can be an unanswered prayer. But I also, let me get more. The Fool card here. So this is something new, a new beginning, or something that you rushed into proceeding in faith. It's definitely coming through trust this process because it's not even going to be that long where you'll start to realize the value in what did not come through or what didn't happen or something that was rejected. It could have been a person. It could, listen, honestly, with, it's like, it's like something that other people didn't see the value in. You picked it out. And because you picked it out, it has really become something quite extraordinary or has the potential to be. Now, I don't know if this is happening to you or if this is happening to somebody that you're discovering this week, but it's got somebody that was rejected and left behind it becomes the person that is everything that you need and is going to solve all your fucking problems. That's what it's saying. So it's like take the leap of faith because you can actually feel the presence of success in the room because of this person that you're connecting with. For some reason, somebody threw out this award-winning idea or this brilliant human being or, or they had just been rejected. Maybe they just went through a divorce or something. It's really interesting what certain people consider garbage, right? And what they'll leave behind. But what this is, is you being able to connect with that I don't know if it's an idea or a person, but whatever it is, you seeing the value in it. And then it's like changing the scales or changing the value, changing the game in general, right? It's almost like, it's almost like I'm willing to take the risk of a slow start. I'm willing to take this risk because it's not really that much risk. I'm, you're not putting a lot into it but there's a lot you can get out of it and it's going to rebalance rebalance there's wow 
two twos. So twos are instability. The stabilizing energy, at least in, in tarot and astrology, is three. So two is unbalanced. It's it's almost like it's still trying to find its way. It's still it's still weighing itself. But what this is telling me is there's a lot of fluctuation or change in the value that you see and uh, like the information that you have. There is a shift. I don't think this is something it this is something that needs a discerning mind to be able to understand that there's more going on here than meets the eye or that other maybe other people are aware of. You can be stuck right now, um, not being able to decide or not being able to move forward. There's some sort of stuckness here. Stuckness and confusion with regards to uh, not seeing what you want, not getting what you want, maybe not having the resources to go after what you want. Ultimately, there's this stabilizing energy in then taking a risk. Taking a, so in other words, Virgo, you're at a point where you have to take this risk because there's just, there's just so much that isn't stable that taking the risk actually is less of a risk than staying where you are. So you actually do have to take this risk. The wonderful thing is this thing or this person that seems so risky is not actually fucking risky at all they're great they're great and, and maybe it's just that you know nobody saw it before or it's you and maybe nobody saw your value before right this is this is that kind of energy starting to shift now let's get a moon card because yes yesterday we had a new moon in um uh aquarius uh look at the big picture a full moon in sagittarius okay that to me is just zoom out be bold and make the first move. You got to be the first one that does do it. You got to be the cherry popper. I was going to say it. You got to be the, the cherry popper here. You, It's so, and this is contradictory to normal Virgo energy. Virgos don't like to be the trailblazer. They don't like to be the one that goes first. They like to be the one that manages what's already there. But this is coming from you. So it is you being the trailblazer. It is you taking on almost that cardinal energy, even though you're mutable energy. It is that. It is you being the one that goes and does it first and innovates. Because from that objective perspective, taking that aerial view, you know that this is the this is a this is a great opportunity. This is the best shot. So it's definitely. The message to you this week is definitely saying, go forward with this. Get out there and go forth. And just because other people have missed it doesn't mean you should. Maybe you have the talents and skills that are going to be able to make something out of this nothing. And that's exactly what it's saying. <clears throat> Sagittarius could mean that um, you're sort of doing, having, I don't know, there could be international perspective or a philosophical um, broadening or expansion, which I think is all potentially happening to you. It's like, it's like this week is teaching you parts of yourself and parts of what you're capable of that I don't think you even knew. But you're not fighting here. This is, this is playful. It's like, it's almost like you're in a position this week to be happy, to take the risks. To be happy to play in areas that are experimental and it's actually really going to bring you a great deal of fortune fortune luck however you want to look at it from this point all right so how does this all play it could have something to do with a fire sign or some kind of fly-by-night energy that comes and goes maybe somebody that you knew from your past or from your childhood could also have something to do with something that you always wanted since you were a child, something that you always enjoyed, but now it's matured and it's being taken more seriously. Interesting. Let's review the cards. We have the Six of Cups. 
So that's your pleasure and that's your happiness. And that's basically acting like a kid or something that makes you feel like a little kid. And then we have the Knight of Wands, which is also about pleasure and impulsivity and doing something without thinking about it or on a whim. And this could just be saying that we, you know, we haven't done something like this since we were young. And then we have this Capricornian energy, which is the devil. So maybe there was a fear involved or something happened to, to stop you or restrict you or you've been restricted so you haven't been able to act this carefree in a while but ace of pentacles comes along and says you know what here's your opportunity here's your chance and that goes beyond the restrictions and and i think that it's good for you to go beyond the restrictions and to face the fear and question question the restrictions now what i had mentioned initially is true as well this is maturation so it could be something that was spontaneous or impulsive when you were young you've you've figured out how to build a structure around it that enables you to have something that's quite valuable so ultimately something that was impulsive and youthful but pleasurable has actually become something reliable well constructed and dependable and it it, depending on how you're taking this reading it could even be profitable because there's a beautiful opportunity here now once things have kind of become more mature okay where is this leading virgo where is it leading virgo we've got to get the future energy here where is it leading virgo you're not going to be using your education you're not going to be using your education it can't even be like you know something the ship my ships didn't come in where i expected them to come in piscean energy says it could be leading you toward a much more innovative space or creative space and then we have this the knight of cups and the six of uh, i'm sorry nine of swords that doesn't make much sense so let's try to see it could be leading you toward delusion or illusion or no i don't think so it's definitely leading you into a space where you're going to have to be innovative and only faith is going to help carry you through the times when you're going to be worried so you will be facing fears here there could be it's almost like you want to heal somebody who is sick or you'll finally be able to heal somebody who's sick or show your feelings that you were worried about or scared about that's not making sense to me why does this is this coming out what 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 kind of future is this two of swords oh this is what you were i think thinking was going to happen or you were worried was going to happen okay so just what what okay so I don't think this is you. I think something that you knew was going to happen actually happens. Could be involving an Aquarius. And ultimately, suddenly it all starts to come through. Or something doesn't happen that was supposed to happen. And because of that, an opportunity opens up. It's got to do with Aquarian energy, critical energy, the energy of maybe love disappointed or being worried that somebody wasn't going to open up to you or want the same things as you. But ultimately, there was this energy, of course, that I don't know what I want, but you do know what you want and you're not waiting around anymore. And you're going to decide to take action because you can and you're not going to wait to wonder or for permission or for some, some, something to become so solid. I think you are solid and you are ready. And so ultimately you're gonna take the shot and you should. Let's go into the extended reading guys. I'll see you guys there.